Hey, you what's up, everyone? Welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to increase RAM memory of your Android device using the application Swapper without using a computer, without having root access on your Android device, without using a TWRB or any custom recovery like TWRB, without unlocking the bootloader of your Android device. Of course, you're gonna be increasing RAM memory of, on your Android device. Easily okay, so let's get it started. But before getting started, I want to ask you if you are new to this channel, if you are not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel and give it a notification to get notified about a new video. And let's get into the video. Okay, as I just said, I'm gonna be showing you how to increase your memory on your Android device using this application called Swabber. Uh, if you have one gigabyte of RAM memory on your Android device. I'm gonna be showing you how to increase plus one gigabyte of RAM memory on your Android device. And it's going to be working on any Android device. It doesn't matter the phone you're using. It doesn't matter the version of your Android device that you're using. Even if you're using KitKat of your Android device, Android 4, this method that I'm going to be showing you, is gonna be working on your Android device. And it's going to be helping you with your Android device. You will increase your memory on your Android device easily. Okay, so before getting started, I want to tell you a little bit about the application Swapper. Swapper will increase your memory on your Android device, but on the setting of your Android device, uh, the, the memory stuff will not change. Uh, here on the setting of your Android device on the memory page, for example, if you have a one gigabyte of RAM memory on your Android device, increasing the memory with Swapper on your Android device, you will increase successful, but this number here will not change if you have one gigabyte of RAM memory. Don't expect this number to change to two gigabyte. This number here, if you have one gigabyte, it will remain as one gigabyte. Okay, so swap work like that. But you will have there a nice experience on your Android device. You will increase on your Android device your RAM memory of your Android device successful. And your Android device will be working faster, but this number here will not change. Okay, so what you need to do, just download this file from the description of the video. You need to download a small file, a real small file from the description of the video. Yes, this file, the link is going to be available on the description of the video. It's a small file. You're going to download from the description of the video. It doesn't have a virus. It's won't hold in your device. And you will not need to root the assets to do this process or computer or anything like that. Just download this file in the description of the video. Once you have this file on your Android device, what are you going to do? You're going to create a new folder on your internal storage. Just like this, new folder. And you're going to name the folder as Swabber. Just like this and create. Alright, once you did that, what you're going to do, you need a, to extract this file, the file that you just downloaded, this one over here. You need to extract these files. To do that, you have to use a, this application. The link is going to be available as well on the description of the video. The link of this app, or you can get this application from Play Store. It's going to be a, available there. You're gonna need you're going to need this application. Just download it from the description of the video or download it on Play Store. It doesn't have a virus as well, it doesn't have a virus, it is 100 percent safe. You can download install on your Android device, open the application. We are going to be using this application to extract the file, the swapper file, the one that you just downloaded from the description of the video. Okay, so once you have this application installed on your Android device, what are you going to do next? You're going to locate the file that you downloaded, um, this one over here. Just click it on it. By doing that, it will show up this window. What are you going to do now? You're going to click right over here on... You're going to click right over here on extract. Click it on it. By doing that... Um, okay, by doing that, um, it will... Uh, it will ask you the location you want to extract the file. Just click it right over here in this icon. Click it on it. By doing that, you will have there all the folder. You have to a uh, locate the folder, the swapper folder, the one that you just created. 
if you then have if you then have created this folder swapper just create a new folder and name it as swapper as i did click on it and you want to click right over here in this icon to extract the file by doing that the application will start extracting the file what you have to do just to be patient and wait okay so once you did that the file will be extracted it's gonna be a one gigabyte as you can see you need to have there on your storage a space at least one gigabyte of space on your internal storage in order to have the swapper working okay so once you did that you will have there the application working perfectly the experience of your internet device is going to be increased your internet device is going to be working perfectly without lagging okay it's very simple just uh, download the file from the description of the video this file i mean uh, this file from the description of the video and uh, download this one over here as well this application the one that's gonna be used to extract the file extract the file and uh, create a new folder on your internal storage and name it as swerber this one over here extract the file and put the file on the a uh, super folder this one over here is gonna be a one gigabyte a file and just like that you will have there your android device if you if you have there on your android device one gigabyte of memory by doing this process that i just showed you you will have there a two gigabytes of memory on your android device working perfectly your android device the performance of your android device is gonna be increased even if you're using android 4 okay so that was the video stuff from here i hope this video help you out and if this video help you out please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet i give the notification to get notified about new video on the next one peace